hello everyone today in this video we'll be learning a few things which are uh, mentioned here so loops assigned uh, means uh, in the loops we have the following topics assigned delay are the uh, subtopics break while do while for each if and switch okay we'll start from for each and we'll cover each of these in detail okay so let's get started with for each okay for each means what you have to search here as for each when you come to the activities and search as for each you will get this one and you have to um, drop here okay so uh, what we are currently supposed to do is you have to create two things here okay item you have to create which is of the variable type in 32 and keep it as such and create another x as in 32's uh, means um, array and enter the following uh, between the uh, curly braces okay after we have made these two variables this uh, item you have to assign here okay double click it and write item the same one okay whatever is present here you have to write that and here you have to write x after i've done this much then what you have to do you have to go to uh, here click for each in this case uh, you'll be able to see this one and you make sure that you have to select it uh, in 32 here okay after you have done this much in the drop activity you have to do few things like uh, you can add a message box okay to show you how uh, this works i mean the for each loop works we'll add a message box here and when we add a message box here you can output something what i will be outputting is item dot to string whatever the item is currently uh, at uh, in the for each loop that will be the output okay so i'll be writing item dot to string okay so that will be the output so what actually happens is item each time it will take the value of x x is nothing but one two three four five right item will be first one then two then three then four then five each time it will output something okay so let's have a look at this one so we'll be able to see here one when you click on okay then it will go to the second one which is two and so on okay it will uh, go to five to save time i'm not going to execute that one so uh, that was about how you uh, work with the for each loop now we'll see the assign and delay okay so let's uh, cut this in assign and delay what we'll do is we'll be assigning some value and we'll be displaying that one already i've done assign and um, you know delay in the previous video so i'll be just uh, giving you a brief overview let's take item itself in the item we'll be assigning some value okay let's um, assign the value 8 okay so after we have assigned the value as 8 then what we'll be doing is we'll be adding a message box after this one and then it will be uh, displaying the item value okay so here let's write item dot to string so what it should display it should display 8 here okay so that's what we'll be displaying here dot to string is here let's select that So this is selected so what should be displayed is 8 let's have a look so what you can see is 8 is displayed okay so the uh, that's what assigned does and if you want a delay between um, what you have assigned and what you want to display if there, uh, there should be a delay in between two things then what you can do is you can uh, add a delay here okay so it will just wait for that much time so let's quickly add it search delay here and in the down part you will be able to see delay in the workflow just add it here okay in between these two so when we add it in between these two then we can be able to uh, select this one go to seconds here and just type here 10 seconds fine so when it uh, gets executed after 10 seconds after the assigning then only it will be displayed let's have a look at that see here the execution has started 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 and has displayed it okay after zero there was some time gap that's because the processing is slow in my laptop so that's okay you got the concept right so that's how the delay works okay so let's uh, stop it or uh, it will automatically stop then let's uh, have a look about the break okay break when it happens it happens in the for each loop okay so um, since for each loop is already discussed we'll see the break in the while condition okay you'll be also seeing the if condition so let's uh, erase this one and let's go to let's add a while uh, loop okay then you'll see there if also this search here while we'll be getting a while here so just uh, drag and drop here and in while what we will be doing is we'll be adding a condition here okay in that condition what i will do is first uh, i'll be entering the item value as um zero okay okay let's take it as zero and here uh, the condition will be that item should be whenever item is um less than 
10 it should do the following okay whenever the item is less than 10 it should do the following in the body i can add anything here in the body i'll be adding two things first is it should display the message that what is the value of um, i so for that i can use the uh, message box okay so it should display uh, what is the value of i so i can write here item uh, i mean the value of item so item dot to string if i do that it will display me what's the current value of item which i have now so in the first iteration what it will display the first value which is uh, zero okay so item dot to string it will display this one okay after that i have to increment the uh, item value why because if i don't increment the item value this while loop will run forever it will not get incremented and this will never become uh, false it will always be zero it will be always true it will always display the item value so i don't want that so what i will be doing is i have to increment the um, item value for incrementing i'll be using assign assign what it does it assigns a new value to item now what should be the new value to item i have to assign right so first i'll write here item and what it should be assigned is item plus two let's take item plus two okay when i do that it will add two to the existing value of item and it will store in item itself so item will in the uh, next iteration will become uh, two so let's have a look at this one see first it will show me zero then I make, when i click ok next it will show me two and i click ok it will show me four next what it should show six next what it should show eight next what it should show it will not show anything why because it plus 2 is 10 it will check the condition 10 is less than 10 is false it will not run okay so it will just show me till 8 that's how the uh, while condition works okay and uh, let's add a if here i'll be assigning this one and i'll be adding if also i'll be explaining if and uh, break uh, together okay see here if i add a if condition here after assigning this value what i'll check is if the value of item okay let's uh, add a condition here if item equal to 6 okay my condition is that if item equal to 6 then what it should do it should break okay break means it should uh, stop executing so i'll add a break statement here in this way you will be able to get the break as well as um, if conditions working okay i'll add a break when it is 6 and whenever it is not 6 what i will do is i'll add a message box i have to display something so i'll add a message box here such that uh, it should display me that um, saved okay or whatever you want you can write here i'll write saved because it's not broken so obviously it is saved okay let's have a look at this one so observe the output carefully first it will show me zero then since it is not six what it should show is saved also okay it should saved next what it will show it will show two then what it should sh uh, show is saved because two is not equal to six it will show four again saved and then it, when it shows six then it will break okay actually it did not show six at all why because whenever it was a six before displaying the number itself it got broke right if the condition is uh, six before showing the number the it got broken when it is six it will break okay if it is not breaking then only i was able to see what, what it is saved or something else right so whenever it was uh, six it got broken and that's how if the if condition works and um, the next one is uh, regarding the do while do while is also the same way so i'll not be actually explaining what is do while just search here do while you'll get to know okay do while you uh, search here you'll get to know in the do while just the change is that the condition you will be adding first then you will be um, no sorry first what you want to do that you will be adding at the last you'll add a uh, condition here while condition will be there first right in do while first uh, body will be there then condition will be there so you can try out uh, try out that uh, yourself now i'll be uh, discussing something about switch statement search switch and drag and drop here when you drag and drop um, switch here what you'll be able to see is expression in expression you have to enter some value it should be always integer so item is an integer value i have inserted zero as default that i have written here okay now what it will do is it will ask you default okay in default if uh, the case does not match any case it will show some default value i have written get lost okay then it can uh, you can alter cases case zero i have written as it should show zero case one it can uh, it will show as uh, one and you can add new case also like for example like this okay and whatever you want to display you can display there now if i uh, execute this one it is showing me zero because my uh, default item value i had set as zero right let's change and see now i added it five let's have a look 